We all know the iconic description that Heavy gives about his minigun in Meet the Heavy. She weighs 150 kilograms and fires $200 custom tool cartridges at 10,000 rounds per minute. It costs $400,000 to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. I know it, you know it, your mom somehow knows it, and all three of us love it. But what if I told you that it's not accurate? In terms of the game. Yeah, listen, Heavy might have that sweet Russian literature PhD, but his math is surely comparable to the first time you attempted to play Spy. Let's look at the first sentence. If we are to assume that Sasha can actually fire 10,000 rounds every 60 seconds, then that calculates into 166 flipping rounds, which means that your entire 200 rounds should be gone in less than 2 seconds, which is obviously not the case. So, what about this one? $400,000 for firing it for 12 seconds? The one so iconic that Scout has a whole tons line dedicated to it? $400,000 to fire that gun, huh? Yeah, money well spent! <laughs> well, if we want to calculate it for how many rounds are fired in game, 10 rounds per second to be exact, then that should be 120 rounds to mention 12 seconds. And since each round costs $200 according to Heavy himself... Yeah, the actual number is much smaller. <laughs> but let's argue that Heavy meant that number as if it costs that much for a minigun that actually fires 166 rounds per second. Which would be 1992 rounds per 12 seconds and- Oh, that's- that's actually only 1600 off. Here's what I personally take from these numbers. The minigun in the universe actually does fire 166 rounds per second, and it does cost $400,000 to fire it for 12 seconds. But for the game, balance designers lowered it to 200 rounds and only 10 rounds per second for balancing concerns. I mean, let's be real, otherwise Heavy would be more WM1 than a fucking pyro. 